Uh, okay, tell us your name again. Rachel Bays, Jim Holiday. You've been a resident of Vine City for how long? 81 years. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to just take your picture, too. Oh, I don't know. Don't put it on there. You just keep your head somewhere. Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay. No. No, sir. And if my baby got sick, and I, uh, or the mother, my neighbor's baby got sick, we just alternated. That's what it took, a real community. Oh, God, but when I left my mom's house, I moved. But that deep it down there was a little double timber house back there. Oh, wow. Oh. So did you go to one of the churches in the neighborhood? I right there now. I used to go to Andy Young Knock on Kennedy and Northside Drive, but I got off the ride. So where did you go to school for nursing? Uh, Tillman Nursing School. Over here. Oh, I know there. exactly where you, yeah. Oh, over there. They have a black nursing school. Oh, and wow. They, they gave me permission to pass medication anywhere, and I worked a great nine years and a half on medicine. So what made you decide to stay in Vine City all this time? It was convenient. That's See, why people want to move back. See, that little house right there where I raised my babies? All I had to do was walk right out of that door, <laughs> come out and get on 35 Magnolia Street, and it would carry me to Greater Hospital, just like ambulance. Right, right. It's, and then we had a grocery store, drug store, cafe, everything right here. So it was beautiful in here. And they did at that uh, Vine City I just got immigrated since these people moved in here. Because when the dude used to run those new stores, uh -huh. they lived in the back. Their home was in the back of the store. <laughs> I'm ready to come down and show you. Yes, ma'am. I my children through college. Oh, wow. Right. This See is my granddaughter. She got her doctorate right here. Oh, she met Barack Obama. She met Barack Obama. It was for 15 I was born and raised right around the corner on Grady Street. Right. 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 I never moved out of Vine City. Okay. And they, you know how the people were pushing us, pushing us, pushing us? Pushing us out of the neighborhood? Uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. But instead, I never left the neighborhood. crisis, especially on the west side. The development of major projects is pushing up housing prices and speeding gentrification while displacing legacy residents. Over 80% of Vine City homes are owned by investors. Rents are doubling, leaving many homeless. The majority of residents fall below 27,000 annually but affordable housing is geared for people making 40,000 or more. Man, we call foul. A lot of the people that are supposed to be standing in place to speak for these people, they're not doing that. It's not the people who's deciding and voting. And that, that comes from just the history of what has been going on around here um, as far as like people doing what they say they're going to do. So these people are so fed up with just having all these promises, you know, they dropped on their lap and then turn around and it winds, winds up to be nothing that they throw their hands up like, okay, you know, these people going to do what they want to do anyway. So that's why nobody is speaking up and saying something. That's why nobody goes to the meetings or anything like that because they will that need help. I think it should be a little more um, consistent for people because it's so many people that need help over here. And you no, know, you have one or two people, it's good for those people, but it's so many people. Kids ain't got nobody to live in this neighborhood. And y'all doing all this mess. Facts. 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 Facts.
Right. This ain't no real leadership. That's facts. You got to not work. Right. You need some folks to change this thing. That's right. You know what? I heard that thing is called working together. But guess what? You gonna have a three count of people. Those who gonna listen, those who gonna see, and those who gonna do. What group you gonna be with? That's why they wanna invest a dollar over here. That's how you think.